Hello everyone. Today I'm going to explain that how we are going to manipulate the HTTP response while we are sending the response from the any API endpoint. So basically nowadays whenever we are going to develop any API, so for that we are going to use the Spring Boot application. So in Spring Boot applications, we need to create some APIs and from there based on certain situation, we need to send different types of response code to the client or which is the basically consume those APIs. And based on the response code, they need to do some kind of the activities. Like if it is a success response, then we are sending the 200 response code. If it is a like some kind of the internal server error, then we are sending the 500. If it is a bad request, then we are sending some kind of 400, uh, something like that. If it is a network gateway, then 502. So these are the already like some of the HTTP status based on that we are sending those response to the consumer or from the API endpoint. Now the thing is that how we are going to send different types of response code from the Spring Boot application. So in Spring Boot applications to achieve this, there are actually multiple ways to walk around this. But one of the option is to that response entity for manipulating the HTTP response code. So this is the basically that uh, class we are having in Spring Boot applications. Using this, we are going to like manipulate the we can send different types of response code with that also we can send the body and the header body means means let's say in case of the success response we need to return some kind of details so in a body we need to pass those details as a response with that also we need to pass the header and also the status code so these three portion complete portion basically we can send in a response entity so this is the beauty of this response entity so response entity represents the whole http response like as i mentioned status code headers and the body as a result we can use it fully configure the http response so we need to for demonstrating this one that how we're going to uh, defining those kind of entity response so for that we need to create one controller and over there we need to create some apis so for creating the controller i have created already one class over here which is custom response controller over here to make it as a rest endpoint we need to annotate this particular class with rest controller and then we need to uh, annotate this particular with request mapping so that we can defining some custom path over here so under this request mapping we can defining some path like let's say it's a api now here in this under this class we are going to defining some kind of methods means API endpoints and from there we are going to demonstrate that how we are going to like uh, uh, like how we are going to defining the response entity with the different types of status code and the like uh, here you can see that uh, there is one API basically that is this uh, hello so when you are triggering this one, then in a response, we are returning this response entity. And this response entity, as you can see, where it taking this body and the status code. This is the body and this is the status code. If we open this response entity class, so you can see it's having different types of parameters. First one is the status code. Then second is the body with the status code. And third one is the, like, this is the headers status code. And the it is the body first we need to send the body then headers and then the status code so these are the things that we are going to basically pass using the response entity class so this is the things that here either we can pass all the three or single single also be possible so here we can see the we are sending the status is okay now if we want to like uh, uh, like uh, what I can say, if we want to send different types of status based on certain situation, like we are want to calculate the age of uh, particular scenarios, right? Now, if they send the birth of year is maybe future date. So based on that, if it is a future year, then what you can say, we can say return different types of like uh, response code. Maybe it's a bad request kind of thing. If it is a not a future year, then we can calculate the age for this class so let me add another mapping over here okay so we need to defining this method over here so that we can use those things let me add those this year basically we are using from the uh, this uh, java time okay 
so here you can see we are this is the calculating the age it we are taking this parameter year of birth if it is a future year okay this future you are calculating from this one you can see i will put this code in the github for detail like you guys can access the code now if it is a future year then we are sending the response entity that your birth cannot be future and here we are sending the different custom messages custom status code which is the bad request okay if it is not a future year then we are sending the status is okay with the calculating the age also we can set the custom header so how you are going to set the custom header over here for that let me create another method over here and here as you can see over here like this is the gate mapping the custom header and then over here we are going to create the http headers this is coming from the like this uh, org spring framework dot http header okay so this http header coming over here and then accordingly we are going to pass this custom header like this we are going to set this header and this is the header name and this is the value and then we are going to pass this headers over here so now you can see that we are passing three parameters over here first one is the body second one is the header and the third one is the status okay and here the status is okay so in this way also you can see set the custom status over here so this is the things that uh, we are going to uh, we can customize all those things over here so response entity basically provides two nested builder interface one is the http headers builder another one is the its sub interface that is the build body builder okay so a headers builder and its sub interface body builder so therefore we can access their capabilities through the static methods of the response entity so here you can see we are creating the object of this response entity and then we are passing this parameter under this constructor but as we it's having this uh, headers builder and its sub interface body builder so therefore it's providing the capabilities for accessing the like uh, what i can say uh, static methods of this response entity class so how you are going to use that so let me create another class for this one like uh, custom response with uh, controller okay so let me copy this and here i can rename it as custom response with so i have copied the same class that custom response controller and renamed it with custom response with builder controller so here just to demonstrate that uh, builder interface uh, so that we can instead of creating this uh, class uh, object over here we are just trying to call the response entities like a static method from this uh, class actually so here instead of this the similar kind of things we can achieve using the with uh, calling the just static method method actually so how we are going to doing this like here okay so in this way response entity dot okay you can see that okay also taking this as a body over here if we open this one then it's a body okay so in this way also we can achieve so just we need to the rename this else it will be creating the confusion api builder for this one also we can create the same like uh, if it is a if we want to send the bad request with this message then we can means create this one response entity dot bad request and dot set body here we need to send the custom message and this is the last that we need to set over here okay similar kind of things for this also because we are going to send the status as okay so we need to uh, send this response status dot entity dot status as we are passing the okay and then in a body we need to pass this body over here okay similar kind of thing for setting the header like uh, we need to easily we can set instead of creating this header object over here we can directly like uh, we can uh, do some similar kind of these things like we don't need this one okay directly response entity dot okay then in a header we need to set this header and then it's a header value and then in a body we need to pass this set object we need to set the body okay so in this way basically we can uh, like create uh, uh, what i can say we can't uh, access uh, we can't uh, do set different types of status based on this static method also 
like this builder controller over here builder things over here okay so this is the actually all about these things in next uh, what we can do we can create uh, means we can call these apis we can start this application and then we can call these apis from postman so that we can understand like that how the response is basically uh, working okay so and also like i will put this code in the github section so that you guys can access the code from there and if you guys still have anything please do let me know next what i will do i'll start this application and just try to demonstrate the things that how we are going to access this one from the postman so how we are going to start this application from here we are going to start the application let me start this one once it will start then from the postman we can like uh, try to call these apis so that like we can understand that how uh, we are going to use this one okay as you can see it's got started in att port okay now we can access let me try to call this this one okay so from the postman basically we can access like localhost 880 then api then slash it's a hello okay so now if we send this one request from over here you can see we are getting the status calls 200 and also getting the response right so now if we call this age with this year of birth this parameter we need to pass from over here so let me and add this request parameter age year of birth so let me uh, 2025 so we are sending the future year so in this future year scenario we are expecting it will be give us the bad request right year of birth cannot be in the future and the same thing we have mentioned over here so we are getting the bad request right now if we send like any previous year like uh, 20 maybe 22 then it will give us the actual 200 success you are getting the 200 successes one and we also are returning your age is 2 okay now similar kind of thing if we want to access from this builder one this one okay from this builder method that i have explained the similar kind of but in a different approach the approach is only just we are trying to access those static method from the response entity class so now just uh, instead of this api we need to move it to the api builder so that it will actually call the same things we are getting the 200 and your age is 2 okay now if we try to send some future year then we are expecting some bad request over here okay so in this way basically we can access and we can customize the response code based on the situation okay hope it is clear to you all if you guys still have anything please do let me know in the comment section don't forget to subscribe my channel please press the bell icon for further notification see you in my next videos thanks for your time bye bye Oh,